Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name's Carolina. I wanted to start off the year with a declutter. I have been holding off for a declutter and I, it's a lot. So I just it, wanted to like mention that. I'm just about to jump right in. The first thing I did want to mention is my sponges. A lot of these sponges are from clients. These are beauty blenders, regular blenders. These are some of these blenders right here from Urban Studio. I am just getting rid of them. They're so old and it's just, it's time to move on. This is one product I picked up off Amazon. I wanted to love it, but I'm allergic to it. This is the anti-wrinkle cream from Pons. I, it smells so good and I think it's the scent because I can't do scents, but I wanted to love it and I can't. I've picked up maybe, I don't know, five of these. I've recommended them to friends and family. This is the Julie Beauty SPF 40. I picked these up. These are empty. I just wanted to mention them because I love them so much. I still have some in there, but I am getting rid of this just because it's been a while and I am moving on. I'm just getting rid of everything that has expired. This is from Believe. This is the full size and this is, I recommend it. I really love it. If you're oily or if you're like me and you sweat in the T-zone, because I don't get oily, but I sweat like in the summer, I sweat hard. And this is the cover FX. Love it. I got it for $4.99 at TJ Maxx and it's just expired so i have to like move on but i really enjoyed this primer this is the mattifying primer it's just for the summer i love this one i have a few samples that i have to declutter these are like little minis that i've picked up throughout the years in my kits this is the tatcha dewy skin cream i already have a backup so i'm just gonna get rid of it and this is the drunk elephant uh this is the peptide refer surfing serum resurface serum <laughs> Rosy Nude, I can't read the rest. This is from Bite Beauty. I really like the color, just it's expired. I pulled out a new No Problem Primer from Touch and Soul. This is the old one that I'm getting rid of. This one was going for $4.99, so $5 at TJ Maxx. Who's That Pearl from Wet n Wild? This is a highlighter. I'm just, this, I picked it up at the dollar store. I am gonna be doing a dollar store haul very soon, but this, <laughs> No, no, it's not for me. I have a mini one of these that I travel with. I'm just gonna pour the rest of this into like the little mini one, but I love this. I need to pick up a, a, uh, <laughs> a refill. This is the It Cosmetics Miracle Water Anti-Aging. This is three and one tonic. I love this because you see how it's like, um, it's, it's really pretty, like the package is really pretty, but like when you put it on your skin, just the toner itself it leaves your skin like very luminous my mom even noticed this is one pearl i did not want to give up but i have to just because it's like i got this when i first started my channel so i know i have to like check it this is from laura mercier this is the flawless fusion ultra longwear concealer in the shade 2.5 w i really enjoyed it i um you can see there i just I've been playing with other ones, but this one I really enjoyed. I only needed a little bit and that's what I really liked about it. But I, I know this is like, <laughs> this has to be like disgusting under a microscope. This lippy right here is from I Meme. It's a satin. I really didn't pick it up like that and I've had it for like about three years. So it's time to declutter. A lot of these pearls, I picked them up at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I don't like to pay full price. If you know me, I don't like to pay full price. Like it hurts my feelings. It hurts my feelings. It does. <laughs> so much maybelline i picked this up for like three dollars two three dollars at tj maxx marshall's i love this one actually it was recommended to me by a friend i remember seeing her at my sister's wedding and i was like what do you have on and she was like this is what i'm wearing so this is the formula she was wearing but i picked up a different color and i picked up number 65 i really like this one and it was like sold out so this was actually like a favorite of a lot of people i did pick this up at tj maxx i do not like it I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if it's the scent or like the texture. I don't know. I just don't like it. This is the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Palm. Pillow Palm. So I just wanted to mention that I don't like it. But it's, you know, I, I'm just cluttering. I did like this a lot. This is uh, Lady, Lady Be Good from MAC. This is a retro matte liquid lip, lip core. I love this color. It's just, it's gone bad. And I just, I have another one that I need to like pull out. So wanted to mention that one along with this little mini one i love this little blush it's bliss from rare beauty it's been three years something like that i know i think my video just hit three years i don't know but i declutter after 
if it's hit three years, it's out, it's out. Like I do this with my food and I also do this with, like what I mean, like my pantry stuff. I do that and with my makeup, I, it just has to go. Bye, it's bye, bye, bye. <laughs> I'm sad to see this one go. I love this one so much. This is from Wander Beauty. I'm allergic to all their skincare products, but their makeup, I can do, I can do their makeup. I love this one from Wander Beauty. This is the Mile High Club. If I can find more of these, I found this in the kit and the, like, this one goes by like $25 by itself and I think I paid like $10 for the whole kit. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> I found it at Ross and I'm I'm sad to see this go. I I need to I need a refill. I have no mascaras left. So I definitely need a refill. I did pick up the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I picked this up at Marshalls. I did pick this up for $5. I was really excited when I found it. I wanted to compare it to the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin. It doesn't compare. Nothing nothing compares to this. This it was okay. This is one pearl I'm sad to see go. I've had this in my collection for a while. I've repurchased this over and over and over again. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in the shade NC25, and this is a Pro Longwear. It means it goes forever. <laughs> you can wear it like, like 16 hours, I believe. I love this as a concealer and also as a foundation. Like if, I, if you mix it in, you can make it into a foundation, or you can mix it into your foundation for like a flawless finish. I really, really love this concealer. It's amazing, and I've I only used about half. Like it's time, it's time to, to to let it go, but I need a refill. They went bankrupt, so they, there's this is discontinued. I really love it. It's a champagne pop, but it's just it's disgusting now. So I just wanted to like mention it. I loved it. I used it. I love this for the my highlight in the middle of my face, and sometimes I would use it um, if I'm going for a no makeup makeup look and I just wanted to look dewy I would just put a little bit on my skin on my fingers and I would just tap it into my skin I really love this product a lot this is from Becca and I love this color I've seen milk makeup at Sephora and online but I've never played with it for myself until I saw it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and when I did I picked them up and I love their products this is from milk makeup this is the Kush fiber brow I believe yeah diesel this is in the shade diesel this is what I would use for my brows, I love this one. I have a clear one that I was like holding off to open. I'm gonna have to open it now. But this right here, I used it in so many of my videos and I truly did love this. $17.99 at Marshalls. I did, I don't remember if I love this or not. It's just, it's been in the corner for a while and I'm like, it's time, it's time to like declutter and I just can't remember. From Shiseido, this is one pearl that I have adored for years. This is the uh, the 24 hour, the wrinkle resist 24 eyes. I love this. I love this stuff. I've used this for years. Something I did want to mention is that like I did notice like if I use too much of any anything under my eye, I will get like these little like bubbles under my eye and I would have to go in with like a sterile syringe and like pull out. <laughs> I know that's a lot, but like here's an example. Like I would have to like go in with the sterile syringe and then like go under the skin like at like um almost a 90 degree angle and like just go right under the skin and like I would pull it out and it would be like a callus and I'll be like I don't know if it was from eye creams I don't know but I just stopped like I just stopped all eye creams like all that like for the past two years I just completely stopped everything and I really haven't seen anything pop up since then so I'm I'm assuming it was this because I was using this all the time but I loved it I loved the way it was like smooth but after a while it like I don't know, something was, was starting to like happen under my eye and it's not happening anymore. <laughs> Chloroplasma Paracone MD. I have used this multiple times. I'm just, I'm, it's done. And I just wanted to mention, this was awesome. I did not like this. I did try this out. I'm a bounce curl, bounce curl type of girl. Like that's what I like for my hair. I have tried this. This is from Rizzo, do not like it. From Aveda, this is for damage control. If you like to, um, this I would recommend if you like to blow dry your hair a lot, put this in first and then blow dry. I have used it for a while. I don't blow dry my hair anymore. If I do, it's on a cold setting, so I don't need this anymore. I have been learning to be careful with my hair. I'm a, I, I've actually been cutting my hair. I'm not letting anybody cut my hair anymore because, and if I do, it will probably be like, I would have to take a flight or a train or something to get there. Cause like, no, like, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> no, we're not doing that again. <laughs> From L'Oreal, this is the Professional Paris Hollywood Waves. I have tried this out before, but I feel like it dries up my hair and I'm really, really picky. And I like my curls to be like 
curling, bouncing, and I feel like this stuff, I don't know, I think there's alcohol in the ingredients. And if there's alcohol or anything like that, I yeah, there's alcohol, I stay away from it. I just, it's so dry. Am I done with this? Oh, I have two more products in this box. Can I? Okay. Oh, three, sorry, I had three. This is a little small nighttime one from Shiseido. This is, wanted to mention it. I, I was using this and the other one a while, like, a, like on and off, like every other day. I was like, I was trying to figure out what was going on with me and it was this. So <laughs> I, I don't have that problem anymore, but I did enjoy it when I was using it. I wanted to mention that I did like this a lot, but I wish I got like a different shade. I don't know why. I just wasn't really a big fan. Like I didn't come back to it over and over. Like I was just like, I used it like once or twice and I was like, I might use some other stuff. Like I wasn't really like blown away by this, but I'm, pre I'm pretty sure other people, I think it's the shade. I'm just gonna blame it on the shade because I like the formula. This is from Uma and this is the uh, double take sculpting. Um, it's just the shade number three. I think that's what it was. I should have gotten number, like number two or I don't know, maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I did like how creamy this was. Like I, I remember I really, really enjoyed the, the bronzer on it. I put a little bit on just to see. I still don't like it. I thought I was, <laughs> I tried to give it one more try, but I don't like this. This is the, I, I really like White Russian. White Russian is my favorite from Buxom, but this is uh, Irish coffee and it's not my favorite. I thought it would be, but no, it's not. This one is going for, I got it for $5.99 at TJ Maxx. It's, I just, I try to, I, I try to leave stuff to see if I still like it. No, I don't like it. <laughs> These masks are expired. I have to let them go. These are from Calder Calderma. Calderma. These are high culture masks. And I got these for $4.99 at Marshall's. I think I have like I have a I have a couple in here. I if I don't if I don't come back to something, it's because I don't like it. If you hear laughter in the background, that's my family. My family has just come over. It's New Year's Day. Um, but I really don't like the smell. It smells it smells weird. I, I wanted to love this, but it's just this is just not a go. This is uh far too faced. This is the pineapple moisturizing, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I don't care anymore. <laughs> it's over, it's done with. I kept the box. This was going for $14.99 at TJ Maxx. From ABH, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I did pick it up for $5.99. I don't like how chunky this glitter is. It's a loose highlighter. I like the highlighter that I have on today. The highlighter that I have on today is from this brand right here. I did pick up, this is House. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is a peach quartz. I really like it. I really like how this foundation, this, not foundation, but the, the highlighter. This is not, this is this is a no. Like I tried it. I hate this. I, I hate it. It's a hard work, but that's how much, it's like up there. I don't, I don't like this at all. I ended up not liking this. This is light medium from Beauty Blender. Didn't like it. I got it for $4. It was on clearance, like yellow tag. Just, I wasn't a big fan of this. About two years ago, I had filmed a video. I believe it was two years ago. I filmed a video with these lashes. But when I bought them, I bought them at Walmart. And when I saw them, they were very similar to these. And they were $3. And I was like, oh, these are amazing. So amazing that, and like a lot of people were complimenting me online. And like people that actually like know. And they were like messaging me like, where did you get those lashes? They're really pretty. And... I bought them online and they're not the same. Like these are like the shape are the, the shape the shape is not the same because they're more like exactly like these, but three dollars. So I'm getting rid of these. I just don't like them as much as I wanted to. Like I really try to love them. They're just not my style. I freelance, so I just wanted to mention that. And sometimes I buy kits like this just for bridal and, I, and I'll give it to them like if I have it and I'm just like I'm gonna use this whole thing on her I'm gonna give it to her there you go um I love doing stuff like this and they can always like use it for the past couple months afterwards this past year I didn't take any clients I was <laughs> I was like I was reached out I was even like requested and I was like I can't I just honestly I just can't this at that past year, I was very selfish with my time, with my family. And unfortunately, this expired. I have to check it, but <laughs> this was a pearl. And I did pick this up for, I think, $7.99. I know I did pick it up when it was on, I think, on clearance. These are the shades Dazed, Bittersweet, and Hudson. I really, really like these colors. 
and these are really pretty like fall colors i really like it um and you can also mix those colors i i believe abh has like some of the most amazing liquid lipsticks to like um uh mix in one of my fa my favorite color from the line is pure hollywood pure hollywood is my favorite i love it to like dab it in the middle and it gives it like a really pretty pink oh i just <laughs> i love it this is from jouet and this is the rose gold collection it has it's supposed to have like a highlighter but i give the highlighter to my sister and i got it for 5.99 i just i'm just getting rid of everything and i'm not keeping these Marc Jacobs. It has expired. It's I got this for ten dollars. I know it's been a while, and it's time to let it go. This is the Invisible Coconut Perfecting Face Primer. I really like his products, and he is going out of out of the business, I believe. So I'm not sure. I just it's time to let it go, and it is it is like I had backups. I had a lot, a lot of makeup like for like clients and myself, and whenever I would find a pearl, I'd be like, I need a backup. But now I'm just I want to be minimalistic. And everything that I have and everything I do, a lot is happening this year, so I have to like downsize a lot, and which I don't mind. I'm I'm happy to, and I prefer it like that. I just don't. I don't. I my brain gets like I get overwhelmed when I see a clutter, and I'm just so happy to like declutter all the, like this room today. Mac Prep and Prime. This is the Natural Radiance. I did pick this up a long time ago. When I say a long time ago, I'm saying like five years ago, and I totally forgot about it. It's the yellow one. I totally forgot about it. It's brand new. It was just in my closet, like in my bedroom. And it was just like next to, I had just put it like up top and I totally forgot about it. So unfortunately I have to let this go too. I would have loved to not been allergic to this brand. Brand new and I can't use it. I'm allergic, very extremely allergic. I got this for $1.99. I was so happy when I found this. But I'm, but I'm allergic to their skincare, so unfortunately, and my sister will not take it from me. She's like, if you're allergic, I'm probably allergic, and I'm just not trying to risk it. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to get rid of it. NARS Illuminator, going for $7.99 in Coca Cabana. I did have to declutter this one particular illuminator, just because it is, um, well, it was sealed. I totally forgot about it. It was in the bottom of my drawer, and it, it went bad. And like you see, like it's starting to like... A colony has started to form so it's time to, to let it go i i really love this foundation a friend of mine put me onto this i really like it it's just time to let it go this is the true match from l'oreal this is the lumi i really like this one this is the healthy it's been about three years so it's time to let it go i really like this one and for shade reference i'm w4 i'm w i'm usually w4 in this shade and if i'm like tan 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 in the summer i'm like a w7 so just for shade reference i have to let this go i do have a little mini one but i love this if you want something a little bit extra to any like this takes any basic foundation and it takes it to the next level this is the charlotte tilbury charlotte tilbury flawless filter uh filter like elixir and this is in the shade number three medium three that's usually what i use um and i did pick up like a little mini one and i'm just gonna stick with the minis because um like this i used for a while but it's one of these like it's it's one of these and you put this on your face so it's just it's just been a while i know i like i first bought this when i went to um mexico like i think back in 2019 i had just bought it and i took it with me rare beauty i've had this for about three years i do like the concealer more than the foundation I just wanted to mention that this is the 250w concealer i really like the shade and i like the consistency i just never really updated you guys on it so i just wanted to like mention it now i want to mention this foundation i love it 330 bisque neutral this is from lancome i picked this up a while ago i forgot about this foundation but I, this is like one of my this was one of my favorite foundations that i was using that year i really like this foundation i just totally forgot about it that's the bad thing about having a lot of makeup you just tend to forget and i tend i, I tend I neglected this one and it's gone bad. I just wish I didn't. This, I love the, the bottle, the packaging, everything. And I really, like, I really love how it looked on my skin. My dad, I remember he like complimented me a lot on this one. And my husband, he like loved the look. Every like, I was really happy with this. So I just wanted to mention it, it's my favorite. And this is not only for like you guys, but only also for me, for like shade reference. Like I remember what I used and what I loved. Contour cream from ABH, this is in light. I haven't used this in forever. It's time to let it go. It's been about four years 
so it's it's time to time to go time to let this go for ten dollars at tj maxx it's brand new hasn't been opened i just totally forgot about it in my drawer and that that was my bad that was, i'm gonna take I'll be more aware when i'm in the store this upcoming year to not buy doubles or anything like that unless i have finished everything that i i have this is one pearl that i absolutely love i'm gonna have to come back and buy another one i have bought two of these throughout um since i discovered this brand two or three of these uh, but this is from Makeup Forever. I love this foundation. This is in the shade Y365. Absolutely love this foundation. And I have used and abused. And I have used it with the in the combination with the Charlotte Tilbury. This is awesome with it as well. It looks amazing. Marc Jacobs. This is the Undercover Blur Perfecting Primer. Love it. I haven't come. Um, I just, it's been three years. I have to let go of it. One that has, I don't need any more, but I really enjoy it with the Clinique High Impact Mascara. It's dried out. I don't need it anymore. I cannot keep, it, I can't stand it. <laughs> this is a primer oil. I have gotten this all over my clothes every time I'm trying to like use this. It, I just don't like this product at all. So I have to let this go. I've tried to use it. I've used it a couple of times. It's just a no. Mascara, I have, this is from MAC. I can't remember. I just doesn't say it just says not for resale it came in a kit i did use it use it really did like it don't need it anymore from bite beauty i have a, another mascara i got it for 7.99 i kept the box just to show you guys oh it's not a mascara it is an eloquent eyeliner i don't like it i tried it out don't like it so i just wanted to say, show you guys um that this is why i buy products at the store because if, if i don't like it it's okay at least I only paid like a fraction of what it actually costs. LA colors, I am getting rid of a bunch of these. I have multiple colors. I've had these for years. It's time to let them go. I also have the Cover FX Mattifying Primer. I have the full size. I got it for $10. I did pick up the full size just because I was like, just in case, you know, and actually I ended up liking it, but it's time to let it go. It's been, it's been a while. I'm pretty sure it's expired. I don't like these. And that's why I'm getting rid of them. I believe I got these on accident on Amazon. And I'm just, they, they were like, you can do what you want with them. I'm just not a fan of these. These are from Kiss, Lash, Couture, Fox, Mink, and Little Black Dress. I'm just not a fan. I, I wanted to like them, but I just don't like them. Elf Rose Gold. I am getting rid of this. I don't need this in my collection anymore. These following products are expired. So I'm just going to go through them really quickly. This is the MAC studio fix foundation this is in the shade nc30 i did use to love this foundation before i discovered other foundations this is something that uh, it brings me back to like being 19 and trying makeup for the first time um but this right here it um i feel like it creases right here as i got an older i just noticed that like it creases right here and uh, maybe i should use less i don't know but um it's it's really it's it looks very natural on the skin. It's a very, it's a cream, so it's a very natural. I really enjoy this. Uh, unfortunately, I, it's expired. Studio, and that's Studio Sculpt from MAC. I just wanted to mention, make sure I, I mentioned that. And then Estee Lauder, this is the Futuristic, Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup. This is in 3W1 Tawny. I know I picked this up at TJ Maxx. This one I picked up at Marshalls, this one at TJ Maxx. Uh, but this one I just since I, you can tell right there it's expired. It's been a while. I just I haven't used it at all. Tawny, I really enjoyed it. I picked it up I believe fifteen or seventeen dollars at TJ Maxx. I remember exactly I was in Tyson's Corner when I bought this. I wanted to mention Rare Beauty. This is expired. If you can see it right there, right there, it's disgusting. It's been three years. It's it has to go. Like it's gotta go. It's gotta go. I like the packaging though, but I do not like the foundation as much as I like. The concealer so i just wanted to mention that this is um super stay mac lipstick from i did oh yeah so i did pick up another shade this was amazonian amazonian I, this is from maybelline i just have to get rid of it and i just like to like mention shades because like, you never know who like you're like oh i have that or i wanted to get that and now i know that like, it's not for me this one is nude light from jouet and this is a luminizing liquid highlighter it's just been three years and it's time to let it go becca this is definitely definitely it's time to let it go ever matte poreless primer i know this is about four years old it's time to let it go i did have this for a wedding and i'm 
I had to figure out what worked for certain brides with certain textures and I feel like my hair's new. It's this one right here. But I just had to figure out what, uh, which ones and I really didn't like this as much as I wanted to like it, but there was other products that I found that solved our problems. This is the Origins Anti-Aging Power Serum. I really enjoyed it when I was using it, but it's about five years old now. So it's time to let it go. Another product, oh, how did you get in here? You're not supposed to. <laughs> Just try to sneak in there. This is not supposed to go. It's supposed to stay with me. Uh, one product that I have to let go. This is the Lash Glue Liner from Kiss. It is dried out and I unfortunately cannot use it anymore. One, I have to let this go just because I know it's expired. It expired back in 2020 and it was just like like at the bottom of my drawer. <laughs> this is the Sid, um, Sensodyne. I do, like I said, freelance when I'm about to be really close to somebody because I'm, you know, doing eyeshadow or whatever, face work. And I'm there for like 45 minutes doing so much. I want to make sure my breath smells good. And I have sensitive gums. So I definitely want to mention that like there's mini ones. I get the full four pack at Costco. But this I have for like my personal because it makes a big difference in my life. I want to mention it because maybe it'll make a difference in your life. It's broken. I have tried to salvage this thing. But now it's like completely done. So I don't need it anymore. This is from APH Medium Brown. I have used all of it and I love this product. I did use something different for my brows today, but I usually, in the past, I have used this and I don't have any more. This is one product I don't like. I have tried to like it. I just don't like it. This is from Pure. This is the uh, face palette. I have mentioned this on my palette and uh, this palette in a haul before, but um, I just don't like it at all. And it went for $8.99. So I just wanted to mention it. I am just gonna get rid of it. Another, Mm, I don't like these at all from Sephora. Like these are the lashes. They look kind of weird. I got them for $3.99 at Marshalls. Didn't like them. This is a MAC Love Me Lipstick Liqueur. This is in Bated Breath. Got this for $7. $7. It has expired. Don't need it anymore. I have picked up like this. What I have on my cheeks today. This is a new blush. I wanted to mention it because I really like how it looks. Seven, ten dollars $10. And this is Rush. This is from... Um... This is, I'm just excited for this is 2024. I just opened it up today and this is all like all my old junk from, you know, previous years and ah, just nice to like start off fresh. Uh, this is from Chele. This is the Eyebrow Defining Gel Clear. Don't need it anymore, but I really enjoyed it. This. Oh, I love this. It brings me back so many memories from like a couple of events that I've been to. This is Mirage. I love Mirage on the skin. It makes me look like an angel. Like angels for kissing me. That's what it looks like. $8.99. This is from Cover FX. And um, yeah, it's just, it's just, um, it's been three years, but this is something that I, or four years, four years. I used this in 2019. Really enjoyed it. I wanted to like just mention that I really, this is one pearl. <laughs> Carolina, remember to buy this again. <laughs> this is Mirage. <laughs> again, I, like I said, this is for me, okay? This, and we're just hanging out. You're just showing, I'm just showing you what I'm getting rid of. This is pretty, but I don't need it anymore. Anymore, And this is from Pure. It's been, it's been about six years on that product and I just totally forgot about it. This is from NARS. I totally forgot that I had a brand new one. Well, this was gonna be for clients, but I totally forgot that I had a brand new one in my drawer. This is a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade like to vanilla and brand new. Unfortunately, it's been three years, so I have to let it go. MAC Fast Response Cream. I love this stuff. It has caffeine in it. If I need to clean up my wing or anything, this would just, it would take care of it. But I have picked up something else to replace this. But I wanted to mention this because I really, really enjoyed it. I believe this would also give me that little bunch that I was talking about. So I was trying to figure it out, but I've just stopped using it and it's not, it's like, it's expired now. So I have to let it go. But I wanted to mention this stuff is actually really good. If they, if you ever go to the Mac, Mac counter and they're telling you to try this, you should. I really enjoy it. Get a sample if you want to try. But I really like it. And I've used about maybe eight of these since I've used makeup. I really like it. I hope my cousin is not allergic to it. I totally forgot that I had this in here. I'm gonna see if she likes it or not. This I love. I warned, I gave her something else that I had like was based off this, and I was like, let me know if you're allergic or not, because um I am. So just give me a heads up if you want it or not. This I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna see if she wants this. This is the Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. Totally forgot that I had this. $14.99 at Marshall's. I love it. Unfortunately, I'm allergic. It's 
one product I wish I never picked up. I don't like it. This is the Becca Hydra Mist Bron Golden Bronze. I wish I liked it. Don't like it. Just wanted to mention. I'm just going to run through the rest of what I have here. I barely use these. I really didn't like them. I didn't like the consistency, the texture, anything like this. this is from Jouer. This was a face and eyes lip, like a, a face and eye set. Didn't like it. Like, I don't like it at all. From e.l.f., I have this little, oh, this little set right here. I don't like it. I'm just going to get rid of it. I did use it a couple of times. Not a big fan. And if I don't like something, I'm just going to get rid of it. Everything else I mentioned is expired. I'm not keeping anything if it's expired. I just can't do it. From Milk Makeup, I have this Illuminator. I really like this when it was lit. Really liked for the highlight. Unfortunately, dried out. It's been three, four years now. It's time to let it go. Jouer, this is the Lip Essential Lip Scrub. This is in Rose. It's time to let it go. I have four of the Tarte Shape Tape. In the shades for shade reference, it's light, medium, sand, medium, sand, light, medium, and light, medium, honey. These are the four shades that have officially dry. Um, it's been, I think, four years, and I just, it's time to let it go. I, I know that I don't need these anymore. Another product that I don't need anymore, and I'm so happy to like get rid of, is the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. This is in G deep three i usually use these for clients like if i have a foundation that i really like the consistency of and i want to just make it a little bit darker i'll just put in a few drops of these and i have a new foundation which i it comes in handy when someone is tanning during the summer and you're you know going through different shades it's just nice to have a few creams that i no longer need but i really did enjoy was the Evlum moisture cream i did enjoy this i picked this for 20 dollars at tj maxx Clinique Moisture Surge Intense. I know these were going for like 25 at TJ Maxx. I went ahead and picked this up. I really did enjoy it. I just, it's, it's just been a couple of years. Shiseido, been, um, this is the Wrinkle Resist 24 Day Cream Sunscreen. It's really heavy. It's a 50 milligram. It does make your skin soft. I really like it, but I unfortunately no longer need it. And my skin has been really, really soft since I have taken a break since for makeup this year, like this past year that, the year that passed. My skin has been, I have another one of these I have to throw out. This foundation for a wedding, I no longer need it. Uh, this is why I do the things I do the way I do them because uh, this only cost, this only cost $5 at TJ Maxx. It was on clearance. I only needed it once. I no longer need it and it has expired. I, I'm not sitting here with a bunch of product. It's officially done and I actually like this foundation. This is the Power Play Foundation from Cover FX. This is the shade N85 for shade reference if you're curious. But I only needed it once and I don't need it anymore and it's expired. So instead of paying $44 for a foundation, I paid $5 and I could have done multiple people. So, you know, just, just thinking ahead. Like stick a, f I donn't know, <laughs> innovate. <laughs> so like try to get product out and I would have to stick this in there. I really liked it, but it's broken. And this is from Lancome. I only paid, I think, $4 for this highlighter. It was really nice. Um, but unfortunately, I am not sticking with it anymore. From Laura Mercier, I have the shade number two. This is the powder. I'm not a big fan of the powder. I just don't like how it looks and sits on the skin. So I'm just getting rid of that. One, mm, I like this one. I didn't want to let it go. I wanted to use it until it's completely dried out, which it is now. This is the MAC MAC Stack Mascara. My friend gave me this. This is waterproof. She gave it. She gave this to me back in, earlier this year. She has officially moved to Ohio. I'm gonna miss her. Um, and I saw her like on Christmas Day. I think I went to go hang out with her. Like I haven't been filming just because I've been like taking in the friends, like the friendships that I have. And I'm just like, I'm about to lose these people. I'm not gonna see them anymore. They're gonna leave and get married and come back. And like it's just. Or maybe I'm like, I don't know, like we were talking about moving because like I was like, girl, I'm moving. I was like, I can't move right now because my husband has commitments here where we are right now. And I was like, when those commitments are done, I'm out of here. Like I'm out, I'm gone. Like we're out of here. Like I'm so excited because I already know it's coming. And like, I just can't wait for like my house because right now somebody's living in my house. <laughs> the Lord has shown me is like, it's not available yet. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm waiting. Cause I know it's like in the middle of nowhere and it's gonna be my dream house and I just can't wait. <laughs> I just can't wait. Anyways, I wanted to like really quickly show you these. These are so pretty. I love these shades. These are from Jouer. The Skinny Dip and Saint 
Tropaz. I got these for $3.99 at TJ Maxx. Unfortunately, I don't need them anymore. They've been they've been sitting in my drawer for like a couple years now and like maybe two years. I like last year was 2023 was a blur. <laughs> and especially going homeschooling. Oh, it just feels good to like say hello to you guys. I hope you guys had a wonderful year. I yo, I lost two before I forget, I lost two friends this past year. I lost a friend from the gym. She passed away and she was really young. She was like 42, had no kids, no husband, no nothing. And she passed away. And like I remember she like took the co the whole corona thing into accountability because she was like, I don't want to die. Like my you know, my health, da da, da da. And she ended up passing away last year. Like early in the year. And um and then I had like another friend that passed away, and I'll get into that in a second. This is from Cover FX. This is in nude medium one. And I love this foundation, $6.99. It's just been a while and I don't need these anymore. It's just, they, they've gone bad and I, and I wish I could keep them because they're so expensive like retail wise. And I love the product, so I, it just sucks. I have a few of the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer found, Foundation Primer Radiance. It's Pants Off, Dance Off from Too Faced. It's been three, four years now, time to let it go. Laneige, really enjoy Laneige products. I like to put on the Laneige uh, lip gloss when I'm doing my, my my foundation, and that way it doesn't get onto um, like I don't get foundation on, on my lips. It just comes right off, and I wipe my lip gloss off. From Morphe, I have the FX number 15. I really enjoyed this um, as a bronzer. It's just been a while, and I don't like to clean, keep cream products for too long. Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. This is a 24 hour, don't like it. I, I do not, I do not like this at all. From uh, Billion Dollar Brow, this is the brow gel. It was okay. It was nothing like um, something that I had to be like, oh, I have to go buy more of this or order more online. This is from Stila. This is the all day liquid lipstick in the shade of Illuminaire Shimmer. It's really pretty. I'm gonna get rid of that. This is the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot. Oh, this is in tan 310. I did pick this up for a um, a client. I just don't need it anymore. It's just, that's just a nice thing. Like if I only need like a shade for just, I have it there and I don't have to like spend a ridiculous amount of money. So like that's mainly, and I enjoy the hunt. I enjoy looking for pearls. So like, um, and it doesn't hurt if I have to throw something away. It doesn't hurt, like, you know, $13 versus $45 or anything like that. That hurts. $45, that hurts. This is the Becca Zero No Pigment Glass Highlighter for face and lip. I don't like it. I've tried it out a few times off camera. I w I've tried a few things off camera to see if I really like them. And then I was going to do a tutorial. I don't like these at all. I just, wanna, I just put them to the side. $6.99. And again, this is Becca Zero. Another pearl from Becca that I did like, but it's expired, is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I have this and I got these in kits. I just want to mention, I don't need more Becca. I don't have any more Becca, but everything else is expired from Kaja. I really enjoyed this blur drop. It's just expired. It's been three years. $3.99 for the Pixie Matte Lip Quid Lipstick. I really love the shade on it. I can't remember if I like the formula, but I did remember loving the shade. This, I don't know why I smell the cap. But it does smell peachy. I did dig into it. Um, but I just don't remember going back to it. I think I just have like an allergy to scents, like whatever fragrances they use. And it's just a no. Ooh, this is from Clarence. I did buy this off. I do buy a lot of my makeup, like new makeup. If I don't buy it at TJ Maxx Marshalls, I would get them. Uh, I got picked stuff off of like Mercari and stuff like that. And this right here, I did pick it up. I don't like it. Uh, it's a cream. And I, this is a way for me to try out products without wasting so much money on something. And this is a Clarence Multi Blush. It's for it's a cream blush and it's long lasting for lips and cheek. Just wanted to mention it. And it's something that I wish um, it, I wish I would have been in a different shade. I feel like it would have been a different shade. Maybe I would have picked it up more. I just wasn't a big fan of the shade. Like I just didn't like the way it looked on my skin or anything like that. This one's from Stila. This is a Smoky Storm. Now that I mentioned my friend that passed away, now it's in my head. But like, the reason why it's in my head is because lately, like, my husband was talking to one of him. Because we all went to the funeral and like his friend was there, like his best, my husband's best friend was there and he was sitting next to my husband. And he was, um, he had actually like beef with the person that passed away. 
but he was like, you know what, I'm gonna be like the bigger man and I'm gonna show up. <laughs> and so, um, and so he went and he's like, I've been having dreams with him. And he's like, he's haunting me. And I'm like asking, I'm like, what are the, cause I've seen like one of my favorite dreams this year was like seeing spirit prison. Like I know that was like a freaky dream, but like seeing paradise and spirit prison and being understanding that like spiritually I'm, I'm free and I can, I can, I can roam freely, like it was freely in the spirit. So it's like, you know, it's been nice. Like it's been, ugh, I've gotten dreams this year that like, <laughs> I know somebody that like cheats on his wife. And I had a dream that like, uh, I was in the house and they were coming down the hallway and I was like trying to hide behind, a, behind like a wall. <laughs> and they like came behind the wall and I was like, <gasps> And I was like trying to put my shoes on and I was like trying to get out of there. And I was like, oh, like, but they were just like finishing, like cheating on their wife. And I'm like, Lord, help them repent. Cause like, you know, I read the scriptures and I believe you like what's going to happen to these people. So yeah, that'll be for a different day. Um, but like dreams have been messages. Like the Lord has shown me, like he's, he showed me this one person. He's like, they're not gonna, they're not gonna grow up for another 20 years. And I'm like, oh, I've got 20 years to like wait on somebody. <laughs> Lord, I'm moving on. This year is the year that I'm focusing on me and moving on and like build, finishing building my empire. Cause like I really, I've been doing that like off camera, but it's like, it's speeding up now. And I'm like, all right, let's get to it. Cause I'm ready. I'm, I'm so ready. No, I'm so ready. Super goop glow stick SPF 50. I, I think this is my second or third one. I love this for over makeup during the summer. Absolutely love this. I have to mention it because I have to buy another one and some look at the note, <laughs> note to self. Glow stick from Amazon, but this is from Supergoop. And I absolutely love this, this uh sunscreen for over the makeup. Uh two, two, uh, these are these this one has this one has a little bit. This one's completely empty. This is from Urban Decay. And this is uh, the, the setting spray. I'm completely out and I don't need it anymore. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm not gonna keep anything. Like I said, I don't wanna, just a clutter. This is from e.l.f. Really like the, what shade is this in? This is in Peach. Really pretty shade. I just haven't, it's just, it's just expired. I, uh, I have a couple of these and I really like these. These are from Sleeping Beauty Eye, Eye Revolution. Really pretty shades. But unfortunately, it's just no good anymore. I do have the Ciat London uh, Glossy Cheek Glow. I got this for $4.99. $4 so it's, yeah, declutter. Got this for $3.99. I did keep the boxes. And this one, this one, that one, this one was mine. But this one was a, um, like an extra, just in case. And this is no good anymore. And this is right or die. But yeah, like the dreams that I had that were this past year, this is no good anymore. This is in Milk Makeup, Golden Nude. I really like their, um, I like their, their concealers, as well as mentioned. And then this is no good anymore. This is from, this is Anaya's and this is Marc Jacobs. But yeah, I had a lot of dreams, like a few dreams. My kids had dreams, um, vivid dreams some dreams that were like warnings wake up like um as in like my husband to wake up like i remember that i had another day like uh he was supposed to wake up because we were, i was telling him i was like i need to sleep north like in order for me to get a good night's sleep i need to sleep north like my head needs to face north and he sleeps going south and i was like look you can sleep that way i want to sleep this way like so we're going like sleeping like except a different way but then he started sleeping like he started listening to me and he started sleeping with his head facing north and he, instead of waking up at five, he was waking up at seven. And he's like, yo, I gotta, this is going to mess me up. I have to, I have to work. <laughs> but I just wanted to mention, because you never know who needs to know that information. It does help because of the way the electrodes and the way we are, like energy and all that stuff, it pulls on you. So this is what it looks like when it's expired. I just wanted to mention this is the Lancome Big Lashes Fiber Extension. It's completely done and it's just no good anymore. I don't know if you've ever seen what that looks like, but I had been holding on to that so you guys can see what it looks like. I did pick that up for $5.99. I don't remember if I used it or not. I'm pretty sure I did. I just can't remember at this very moment because I have used extenders before and they make your eyelashes like, <laughs> uh, but I know for a fact I use like the, the MAC ones. It's just been a while. 
uh and I have like this whole year kind of was just like a whole spiritual rebirth year I was like I'm so ready to take on whatever is coming this year which it is coming the Lord is coming now he's probably not coming this year but like a lot of stuff is happening that he is under his control it's happening all right I'm just like I'm just excited this is a little bronzer that I picked up from Drunk Elephant. This was like a little sample from them. Don't need it anymore, but I did like it. It was it was cute. This I got for five dollars. I don't like this scent, and that is the only reason why I'm getting rid of it. This is the um, Fix and Calm. It just has like a weird scent to it. I, I love the packaging, like the blue. It just has a weird scent to it, and I gotta get rid of it. This shattered. As much as I wanted to keep it, it shattered. It went for four fifty, and I got this for TJ Maxx. This is the Lor Lorac Illuminator in the shade Twilight. Wish I could have kept it. I really like the shade. Uh, Laura Mercier. This is in the shade Candlelight 01. Really like this concealer. This is a really pretty concealer. I know they picked this up by TJ Maxx. And this was about four years ago. I just, it's, I know it's disgusting. So I just really haven't played with it anymore. But I really did like it when I was playing with it. And if I, came, if I came across it again, I would definitely pick it up because now it's like a mental note. Like, I actually like that. I just don't like the whole sponge applicator. That's just like from a microbiology level. Like, I'm just like, like my, my micro background. I'm just like, because like the sponge, like if you know, you know. Anyways, because um, you can't microwave the sponge. Like, you can't disinfect it. Anyways, uh, the, okay, anyway, <laughs> I'm just thinking way too much now. From Bite Beauty, this is the um, lip agave lip mask i really did enjoy it when i was playing with it Oops. and um if i come across it i'll definitely be picking that up again laura mercier this is a caviar stick really didn't i don't like the these i don't like these i don't know why i just don't and i just kind of like put them to the side these i picked them up in kits and i do have this one with like a like a blue one i like these these are from tarte i don't remember what they're called but they're like lip glosses this is in rose it's been a while. It's time for, for me to let this go. So I just wanted to mention it. This is the Lock On Lip Primer from e.l.f. Did not like it. I prefer the MAC one if I'm going to use a like a, like a lock it in primer. Oh, I have this. I don't like to say the name, but if you can read it, that's it. <laughs> I just don't like, I like to be pure. I don't like to stay pure because it takes a lot of work. You guys, today is Monday on Friday. I was getting attacked but i don't know what like spiritually and i was by myself and i had to cry like when i say pray your guts out i'm over there praying my guts out like i prayed i looked at the, at the sky and i was like lord <laughs> i was like oh my father i don't know what i was like but this is because it was like a memory that was like coming like it was a very strong memory and i was like this is not happening right now and i need like to be released from whatever is trying to come over me and as soon as i said the name of jesus christ i was like and i say this in the name of jesus christ and as soon as I, as soon as i said that and i was like oh, and i was like as soon as my husband got in the car i was like yo i just got attacked i was by myself and i had to cry out to jesus i was like praying my guts out because i'm like i gotta do this i gotta i gotta make sure that whatever is trying to attack me goes away because now that i know how certain spirits work i'm like <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> Go away. Dose of Colors. This one, it's been a while. It's probably been like six years. It's been in my collection. I was holding on to it. It's time to go. Time to let it go. This is the Over the Top from Dose of Colors. I believe this is the um, Desi Perkins collection. I really like the shade, but I'm not a big fan of like glitter. Not that much. And then it's just been a while. It's time to let it go. But I like. I did want to enjoy it. Um, <laughs> mention that I enjoyed it. Pauline, I don't need it anymore, but I do love the pinky lip gloss. I just wanted to mention that. Um, but these are amazing, and I just wanted to mention it. I did. Uh, I did go through all of my my drawers. I went through all my makeup. Went through all of my inventory. I am only keeping what is good and what I really enjoyed and really loved. And these i really enjoyed and loved but these are unfortunately dry now and i can't use them anymore i can't revive them either this is from stila and these are so pretty i love the pinky one i love the pinky one so much this one is in ballet ballet baby so pretty and this one is in vivid smoky quartz i remember using this with like a red lip but like not not too not too much it was just really pretty this one is in 
um, Urban Decay setting spray. I didn't, I've had this little bottle for years, but since um, I really haven't, I don't know, I really haven't, I'm just getting rid of a bunch of stuff and I wanna try new stuff. This is from Maybelline Baby Lips. It's been about three years or so. Gotta let it go, but I really like this. This is in a toasted taupe. I really like, love this shade, especially like mixed in with other shades. From ABH, I have three liquid glow highlighters. This is an Oyster, Perla, and Peach Fizz. My favorite one is Perla, of course, because it's like the, the like the lightest one. And it just goes with my skin tone and the name, of course. I love Perla Pearl. I do have a Laneige lip gloss. I have... I still have, I think about six months left on the purple one that I have, the grape one. So I'm just gonna be decluttering this one for now, but I do like the grape one and I'm like sad to see it go. From Dr. Palm, this I love very, very much. I think I paid $2.99 at TJ Maxx. This is Dr. Paw Tinted Peach Pink Balm. I love it for this for um, the lips and the, the face, like blush. I love this, this is so pretty, inexpensive. I was to buy, if I only had $10 to buy stuff, I would buy this and like a mascara and then that's about it. Uh, I did want to mention lipsticks that I have truly enjoyed. I did, um, oh, I, did, I like, didn't even see this one. I had like a third one. Cause I, I, I was like, I know there's three. This one's a pretty, but I feel like it's too much for me now. This is uh, Parano Paranorma Pink. It reminds me so much of Snob. This is from Smashbox. I'm not keeping it. It's just, I just, I have way too many lipsticks. This would have been perfect for my outfit today. It would have been perfect, but this unfortunately has dried out, so I can't keep it. This is the Marc Jacobs uh, Deja Blue. Love this color. It looks really pretty on my, like on my brown eyes. It makes the blue, I love this color. I like the purple one and I like the brown one as well. I didn't put anything under the eye because I wanted to like be a little bit open. But this is this is really pretty. I really enjoyed it. I, it sucks because I don't make them anymore. Like it's discontinued, but I really enjoyed it. Mac Prep and Prime. I do have another one. This is just an old one that I have to declutter. I do. I didn't. I, I do not like to get rid of presents, like things that were given to me as a present. But I'm just trying to like declutter, and I really I'm I'm very grateful for this friend that, that gave this to me. This is from Aladdin, the Disney Aladdin from Mac. I just, um, I'm gonna put a little bit on. It's just to make sure that it's, it's just time to let it go. But I wanted to put it on one more time on camera. If it starts to like burn or anything like that, I'll take it off because it's been a while since my friend gave me this, but I was very grateful when I got it. I was like, this is so cute. This is so cute. What shade is this in? Is this jewels on jewels? It's just really pretty. In five, this is Flawless Fusion, Laura Mercier. No longer need it, but it was an amazing. I remember using this as a concealer on one client, and then on a different client, I've been able to use this as like a contour. It just depends on the skin tone. So uh, it's I love it because of the multi um, the versatility on it. Uh, this is Cover FX. This is covered um, custom drops. I got this for $6.99. I unfortunately didn't get a chance to use it. This is in uh, neutral medium one. I did have this for a client. Unfortunately, I just couldn't make it to her. So I ended up having to like, just having to hold on to this. This was my personal favorite. I just, I, I absolutely love this. I had like two or three of these sitting around. And this one, again, this is, you have to shake it very well, but this is really pretty. Again, this is Mirage from Cover FX. I love it that you could, you can mix these into your foundation or put it as a base and then foundation, it's up to you. But these are really pretty, I love this. And then I have the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream going for $22.99. I don't need it anymore. And then I did have another one of these. I'm so, I have to order products, I'm so excited. I don't know if I covered this or not, but this is from uh, Becca. This is the Skin Love Brighten and Blur Face Primer and then the Evlum. Radiance Lift Cream. With this one, I got on Amazon. I don't. I did not like it. I'm sticking with just Bounce Curl for right now, and it's working. And trust me, it's working. But this, I didn't like it. I tried it, and I don't. One, I didn't like the smell. Two, I don't know. It like my my curls were not coming out the same. So I had to like wait because this this was adding to like my depression like earlier last year because I was like my hair was so short and I was getting this to like, see if it would like grow faster and it wasn't. So I'm about to count Bounce Curl, and it just been growing back 
nicely ever since. So bounce curl is, is what works for my body. This is the, I know I was ranting off there for a second. Nutra Fall for Women, and this is really popular online, really popular on Amazon. This just doesn't do it for me. It stinks. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like what it did to me. I don't like how it made me feel. I'm so glad to just let this all go. So bad. It feels so good. I feel like I can breathe now. Like I'm so ready to start to create with my new pearls that I have bought this year. And I cannot wait to see what pearls I will be finding at the stores this upcoming year. I cannot wait for the dreams and the messages and the signs and wonders that will be coming before our Lord Jesus Christ comes back to the earth. I am just so excited. Like... Uh, like, like I can't contain it obviously but I'm just really excited for this year and I'm just this year is going to be so interesting it's going to be interesting and I can't wait I love you guys and I hope you guys are safe I'm praying that all of you are good and healthy love you guys bye